Hello everyone, my name is Natasha and I am so excited that I can be here with you guys today. Today we are starting our new series called Relationship Goals. Are you excited? Oh, you guys don't sound very excited. I said, are you guys excited? Yeah! Wow, okay, I think you guys are excited. Now, we thought it'd be really, really fun to throw in a challenge with this series. What challenge are we doing? It's called an emoji challenge. Each week, there are going to be different emojis, and you have to try guess what they mean. But now, where do we send our guesses to? You can ask your mom and dad to send your ideas or your guesses to our email, which is kids at cityhill.co.za, or you can DM them to our Instagram page or our Facebook page. What are relationships, you may ask? Relationships are formed when we spend time with people. That can be your mom, your dad, your aunt, your uncle, your teacher, your brother, your sister, your coach, anyone who we spend time with. What? Yes, but not all relationships are easy. Some of them require work. Mm-hmm. And we often make the mistake of thinking that we need to change people. And that's not how it works. We need to ask the question, what can I change in me to be more like Jesus? Now, we have goals too. What is a goal? A goal is something you set out to do and achieve. So this can be, I want to do a cartwheel by the end of the week. Or I want to learn my seven times table. Our goal for this week is to treat people better than what we think they deserve. Can you say that with me? Treat people better than what we think they deserve. But before we get there, we're going to hop up onto our feet and get ready for praise and worship.
we were cold till you came along and saved us you rescued us from the darkest of days your love surrounds us when we feel alone it shelters us from the giants to come we lift your name in Yvonne, and I'm so happy to be doing this week's teaching. Today, Relationship Goal is all about being gracious. So you're probably wondering what gracious mean. Well, let me explain you now. Gracious came from the word grace, and grace is when you and I receive a gift that we haven't earned or we don't deserve. So how that's how Jesus treats us. God give us grace by forgiving us. And he has sent his son to die for you and I. He also done amazing things. He's doing amazing things for you and I every day, simply because he loves us. Grace is a gift from God. And how can we share those gifts? The Bible tells us, tells us that God treats us with grace. So now we can treat others with the same kindness. So being gracious means being kind. But with who? With our friends, family, and everybody around us. How cool is that? Well, today I needed to show you something. But before that, did you love gift? I don't know you, but I totally love gift, especially when it's not even my birthday that on those ones are the best. <laughs> so guys, I just wondering, have you ever, ever wanted something so bad that you cannot stop thinking about it? Or you could even go tired of being thinking and wishing for that thing for. So t today, I wanted to tell you a story about how God was gracious with someone in the Bible. 
if you want to read the story, you can find it in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 to 18. Are you guys ready? Good. There was a beautiful woman named Hannah. She was married with a man named Elkanah. Elkanah loved his wife, Hannah. They were very happy. They have a beautiful home. They have animals. And they were very happy. After a while, Hannah was ready to become a mommy. She wanted to have a baby. But she started wait and waited and waited. But nothing happened. Hannah started to feel very sad because she couldn't have what she wanted. So every year, Hannah and Elkanah took a trip to the tabernacle to pray and worship God. They prepared beautiful presents. And that was kind of like a way to say to Jesus, thank you for all the stuff that you have blessing us for. They also had a beautiful feast. There's all type of food. There were all type of things that you can eat. But Hannah, when the feast came, she couldn't even eat her dinner. She was so, so sad. Instead of that, she sneaked out. She went to pray to the temple. And she poured her heart to Jesus right there. Hannah went to pray. And she said, Oh, Lord, you know what I wish the most. Please give me a baby boy. If you give it to me, I will give it back to you. And he will serve you for the rest of his days. Hannah was concentrating, praying all the time. The Bible tells us that her lips were moving, but no sound were coming out of her mouth. Next minute, Eli, the old priest, came to the temple. He saw Hannah. When he saw Hannah, he saw her. Hmm, there is something not okay with her because Hannah was rocking her body and she was praying so quietly just between her and God. Hannah take a look at her and he started to think, hmm, she's acting so weird. I think she's not okay. I will have to go and ask. So Ila came closer to Hannah and he asked, are you okay? Is there something wrong with you? Hannah explained to Ila that she was praying and she was pouring her heart and her problems to God. And he said that she was just feeling so sad. She had a broken heart. So Ila immediately changed her face and he told her, in that case, don't worry. The Lord have heard you. May the God of Israel give you what you wished for. After that, Hannah felt so much better and she even had a happy time. Not long after that trip, Hannah became pregnant and she gave birth to a baby boy named Samuel. And you know what? Samuel means God heard because Hannah receive the gift and what she prayed for so god answer her prayer that's what samuel name mean god was gracious to hannah by giving her what she wanted the most also one of my favorite part of the story is to see how elkanah was so kind to hannah and also how elah the priest encouraged her this when she needed the most. We serve a gracious God who's full of love and kindness. That make me very excited. So our Bible, in the book of Psalm 145 verse 8 said, The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow in anger, and great and loving kindness. Wow, that fooled my heart and make me very excited. Guys, I have some gifts here with some stuff inside and tips to how we can be gracious to those one around us. Let's see what's inside. Yes, kind words. Well, being gracious, it means to being kind to others. So I think we can choose our words to 
be encouraging to those one who need it. I think we have to start it to build up people instead of tear them down. So we must use our kind words. Also, I know you guys are gonna get, be so agree with me. This is my favorite squirrel. And that reminds me that we can be gracious with our brothers and sisters. And I think we can start to share our toys with them more often, just for a little while. That's how to be gracious to remember that. Let's see what's the second gift that I have today. I have a word and it says thoughtful. Hmm, thoughtful. I was thinking this week and I think being thoughtful, it's when we choose to thank mom and dad for all the stuff that they do for all of us, including our beautiful and delicious lunches that they packed for us every day so that's one of the ways to being thoughtful and being gracious so let's see what else i have here hmm i know that some of you can't write yet so i think if we can draw a picture for our friends and we give it to them that is a way to being thoughtful and gracious that we saying you know what i appreciate you because you're my good friend I think those are the ways that we can be thoughtful. So you guys ready for my third gift? Here it is, grace. And I have something very special inside. I built this cross and it reminds me of two things that I want you don't forget on this week. That we've been saved by grace and we live by grace. And that is something so big that help us to remind that we can forgive those one who have hurt us in the past. So that is part of being gracious. So this week, remember, we can be gracious in so many ways, in so many different little things that we can do for others. Let's follow God's Jesus example to being gracious. So I don't want you to forget that. God bless you. This week's memory verse is found in the book of Psalms, and this is in the Old Testament. It's in chapter 145, verse 8, and it says, The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, but rich in love. Can you do that with me? The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, but rich in love. Great! Going into this week, let's remember... The big goal is to treat people better than what we think they deserve. Why? Because Jesus has been gracious to you and to me. So we should be gracious to others. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the wonderful service today. Lord, I ask for your help to show me where I can change to be more like you. Help me to improve my relationships. Help me to be gracious to others as you have been gracious to me. Help me be more like you. Amen. Let's do a little recap before I go. Remember, treat people better than what you think they deserve. Because Jesus has been gracious to you, so we should be gracious to others. And don't forget to look at our resource page because there are a lot of fun crafts and ideas for you to do. And don't forget our emoji challenge. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.